Uh, pretty new truck myself. Been doing it for a little while now. I uh, think I've got hang of it. Uh, caught quite a few fish. Um, yeah, I'm just going to talk you through some of the tackle I've got and what I've bought and why I've gone with it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rods on the market. Um, I ain't gone daft on what I've spent. Uh, so you can get into drop shotting really cheap to be fair. I mean, I've gone with the Savage gear, Black Savage. It's a focus. I don't know if you can see that, there we go, it's just focusing in. Black Savage, two to 12 gram drop shotting rod. It's a seven foot four rod and it works an absolute treat. Um, I've paired it off with a little Shimano FX 1000 series reel and I've topped that off with uh, some spider wire braid, which only if you like braid, you don't need really every braid for this. I just like to use braid, keeps you in direct contact with the fish. Uh, you can feel the muscle bites, what you might miss on the other lines. So yeah, uh, just going to talk you through what I've got. So I've got a selection of little microlers, just give you an idea. These things can range from very small uh, to a, well, a lot bigger, I suppose, and even go bigger than that. But generally, as a rule, drop shotting it's a finesse way of fishing, you know. Uh, you're trying to locate the shoulder fish and basically once you're on them this method is absolutely deadly uh, I mean I've caught 20-30 fish in 15-20 minutes on this method uh, so yeah once you get this right it's a great way of fishing for perch uh, so yeah I'll just talk you through few of the words what I've got and how I rig them up so uh, this is one of my favorite lures um, this is a pre-bought rig by the way you know uh, they come on a little reel like that pack of three let's untangle it typical um, and your little drop shot pencil weight that come sat in there neatly so you unravel it off attach it to your main line and you're instantly fishing so yeah what is drop shotting so basically this is going to be hard to show you on camera is you've got a weight of some description this is a little pencil weight sat at the bottom on a little clip so you can adjust it up and down your line as required and basically you've got your hook focus there on your line uh, that's probably about 12 inches up uh, this time of year i like to start off nice and low so I move that pencil shot closer to me up uh, and then obviously we need his bait on. You see a lot of people using worms for this. Great. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I like to use, this is one of my favourite soft baits to be fair. I've had the most fish on that uh, and that works a treat. So yeah, basically drop shotting is, you see how that stood now, you've got your pencil weight. So you attach that to your main line, it's fluorocarbon, so it's very hard for the fish to see it in the water. So you cast that out and effectively you reel in until you feel, feel you, with your weight. So there's different size weights, obviously, uh, say if you're fishing something with a bit of movement in it, you'd use a, a lot deeper, you'd use a slightly heavier drop shot. Uh, there's also different kind of drop shots. These three little bell ones, uh, so you get it to focus like that. Um, yeah, I think that's a five gram. Yeah, it is. <coughs> so, yeah, effectively, you, you're wanting to fish to stand like that off the bottom. You got your drop shot weight on the bottom. So, let me just tie this line up. And then, what you can do with your very slight movements with your rod tip this time of year is just twitch your rod tip slightly. And what that affects you from doing in water is just jingle that fish along slowly and obviously with the paddle tail and everything there's going to be a lot of movement you know which is going to agitate hopefully the perch into a bite uh, you catch all the fish on this method but generally as a rule people target perch with drop shot i know i do so yeah so 
You can tie these with yourself, fairly simple to tie. You just need a length of fluorocarbon and uh, away you go. So <coughs> I'll just show you quickly just some of the other soft baits. Uh, got a spiky, spiky shad, uh, orange one. Yeah, focus, there we go. And then we've got a curly tail. Uh, I like that one. For some reason, I haven't had any luck on that one yet. Uh, well, yeah, as you can see, they come in great variety, you know, uh, sizes. So, yeah, very cheap setup to get into fishing. I mean, the rod, I think the rod was £60. The reel, you're looking at about 20 quid. And some braid, you know, can vary price depending on what braid you buy. Like I said, that's spider wire, so it's about 20 quid, but it's enough to do me reel probably a couple of times over, to be fair. And these you can buy me kits, you know, all from a few quid you know to 10 pounds plus you know depending on what kit you get savage gear do one fox do one there's loads out there and like i said these these are peanuts to buy so it really is cheap fishing to start off i mean if you're just thinking about getting into drop shotting you know uh you can have an half decent setup for very little money um you know and get yourself out of that fishing so <coughs> right what i'll do is uh you know, if you want to tie your own rigs, uh, I'll just quickly show you how. Uh, no, spectacular, really simple to do. You know, anybody will be able to pretty much figure this out. And, you know, then you're good to go pretty much. So, yeah, right, I'll, uh, I'll just turn off and we'll zoom in the camera closer. certainly don't use braid I use fluorocarbon but this is eight pounds it's fine I'll probably scale down a bit to six to get away with it easily but the purpose I'm just using braid is just so you can see how I tie the knot that's all so yeah what I'll do is I'll send the braid well the fluorocarbon should I say ignore that it is braid through to roughly about the center and then you want to be tearing off about three or four foot of line, depending on how deep you're going to fish. But give yourself the option to fish deeper if you want to. And then what I'll do then is we'll send. Uh, I'm going to quite thick this braid. Just send it back through. Send it back through on itself just to form a loop. So then you've got your hook sat in the centre of your line like that. Two tag ends here. So there we go. And then what we're going to do is just basically, it's just a, a Palomar knot. I like to do is nice, simple way of attaching it all. So just try and get it so you can see it neatly on camera. It's very awkward. So yeah, we'll just make that loop. Right, over. Back through. So effectively left with something like that and then we want to send that tag end just over his hook and then bring it down to over the top of his eye and then just seat it all up so don't forget when you're using this fluorocarbon just to wet your knot so you get friction you don't want to weaken your knot with friction so just pull that up tight so, and then effectively, now, it's not quite seated up there, a good bit being braid. There we go, it's gone. So, effectively, now, when we get this pencil weight on, we'll be left with his hook. Let's straighten that up. But wait. This pencil weight on the bottom there and that attached to the main line obviously don't don't forget this is fluorocarbon not braid i'm just using green braid so it's easier to see on the video 
So now we attach his pencil weight to the bottom or bell weight, whichever you're using. So I'll show you how to put that on. Very simple. Thread him through the eye and then just pull it up and then it's on. So there we go guys and then it'll sit effectively like that and what we're trying to achieve is we want this to sit on the bottom of your pencil weight and then you've got your hook and I'll just put a wire on so you can see just get one out of the box uh, like I said this is just for the purpose of the video I normally fish a lot smaller than this so we'll just nip that through on the nose it's all soft bait there we go so effectively when that's cast into the water the pencil weights on the bottom and that's just then in the water so you're just tapping your rod tip and that will just shake the fish like that and there'll be a lot of movement on the paddle tail just with the flow of the water and things like that so things to think about is if it's quite deep fairly fast moving you want to scale up on your weight this is just 10 gram uh, and only fish five grams they come in different varieties you get little bell ones like that that's a five gram you can see it's like focus five gram i think you can see that so <coughs> yeah it's a really cheap setup uh if you're just thinking about getting into it uh like i said the rod for 60 quid real 20 quid Sp spider wire braid 20 quid so probably <laughs> dearer items and you can get little packs of these micro lows loads of different brands you know come in packs of fives you can even get packs of 30 more there's loads of different ones and the peanuts to buy you can get literally set up for very little money so yeah if it's something you're thinking about doing don't think you need a big massive budget or you've got to buy one of these <coughs> mega money rods you don't like i say i've had great success on this um yeah and when you get on them fish you really can catch <laughs> catch good man and there's you know great fun on these small light rods so yeah things try this time of year is you might find it's hard going trying to catch the perch if that's what you're targeting so you've got to try and locate the shoal <coughs> and once you've located them this is a great technique to catch them uh, when it's colder i generally start off a lot lower in the water so you move your pencil shot up closer to your hook and i'd start off that way um i'd generally scale down as well so this this hook's just just not a size i use uh I use a lot smaller and yeah i start off small i'm very slow slow and low um i suppose a good way of describing it very slight twitches on your rod you don't need many much of a twitch on your rod to get that bait moving um so yeah get out there get a try guys see what you think hopefully you could see me not but bearing in mind if you don't want to mess around tying your own rigs um <coughs> you can buy them already made to come on little spools like that already already set up so you just peel one off tie it onto your line and away you go so yeah like i say guys don't scream at me for using braid i just did it for the purpose of the time video we, you know you, fluorocarbon is what you want to be using so yeah we'll get out and hopefully do a video of fishing with catching some fish and that will be part two of this so yeah hope you like guys like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the bank